I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. I'm granting you the rank of Initiate. The Brotherhood might be the best chance I'll ever have to find my son. You here visiting Covenant, pal? Help me find Stockton's people, and we split the reward. They took her locket, too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. Most people believe the Institute's behind every manner of ill in the Commonwealth. Sister disappears, or you lose your Brahmin. The Institute. Settlement murdered in the middle of the night. The Institute. But I've never met a single person that has proof about any of that. But there's no denying synths are real enough. So the Institute's infiltrating us, and I doubt they're doing that for our own good. They took the survivors to a compound. Then we're in business. I'll meet you there, and we'll rescue ourselves some caravan hands. Not very neighborly of you, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. Believe me, I've been there. But I haven't resorted to torturing innocents. Casualties are inevitable. It may not look like it, but we're at war. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dead. You can't seriously want to kill all the synths. We most certainly do, but we have to find them first. A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. And the safe test works? Oh, yes. Autopsies confirm the test is getting more accurate. There's something in the questions which provokes a response from synth, but the exact trigger is elusive. The margin of error is admittedly high four or five false positives per synth. But one day, we hope to get it to one or two false positives. But your methods are barbaric. It's torture. To improve the safe test, intense psychological pressure must be applied to our test subjects. It is distasteful, but necessary. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton's synth and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you were offered. I've had my fill of crazy on this contract. No deal. Fortunate for me, I wasn't talking to you. You side with this nut job, and we're going to have a serious, deadly problem. But it helps me sleep at night. I took this contract, and I will honor it. Even if I have to kill you to do it. That's a deal I won't accept. Then you'll just have to kill me. Please don't hurt me. It's all right. You're safe now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm Amelia. Stockton! I'm not a synth. So Stockton gets his daughter and we get paid. Not a bad day. Are you finished or what? Affirmative. Impressive. Keep proving your worth. I may start to trust you. Here's what you're owed. Recon's always coming in. Take a breather if you need it. When you're ready, just say the word. I'm ready. Good answer. Here's the latest target area. I don't want to see your face until that place is clear. Hope that means you recovered the tech. Here it is. Good job. Hope it didn't give you any trouble. Here. You earned it. Tech will always be in demand. Report back to me when you're ready to head out again. Affirmative. All right. Here's the location. Get on it. Looking to earn some caps? I could use a hand here if you're all done gawking, you know. Help you with what, exactly? I'm trying to fix this old water pump. Should be plenty of scrap in here, if I can get it drained out. What do you need help with? Now, the pump isn't in top shape, but it should at least start. There must be some leaky connections flooding me out. Think you could fix them? The leaks will be underwater. 
Look for bubbles, and you should find them. If I redirect the flow through here... Hi. That's a ticket. You do the honors. Hit that switch on the end of the pump. What the fuck was that? Now. 
someone there? Too easy. I know you're here. I'll find you. Kill them. Kill them all! No point in running. No escape from Strong! Only a fucking coward I! You're here, you're here. Stop hiding! Hundreds of times. Think you'll be any different?
Got that locket back for you. You serious? That's great news. Connie's gonna be speechless. Whatever the Minutemen need, you can count on us. We got a decent workshop here. And Connie's sure to go leaner on her prices after what you've done. Blake told me what you did for us. For Mary. I know it's not much, but any trading you want to do, I'll go easy on the price. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want to take a look at. I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. The people there have decided to join our cause. Good luck to them with, you know, the whole... Surviving. That's great news. One day, we'll be strong enough to drive that scum out of the Commonwealth for good. As usual, I've got something else for you to look into. We can finally start to think about more than just survival. We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Minutemen HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. I'm not sure we're ready for this big of an operation. It is a risk, but the radio station will let us respond immediately when people need help, anywhere in the Commonwealth. I'd say we need it if we want to bring the whole Commonwealth under our protection. So, should I have an assault force assemble near the castle? I'll think about it and get back to you. Your call. Just let me know when you're ready to pull the trigger. I've heard that folks at Finch Farm need some help. The Minutemen should be the ones that answer that call. Take care of your gun, it'll take care of you. Excuse me. Do you think we're ready to retake the castle? Yeah, let's do this. We'll do some recon and meet you outside the castle. See you there. Long here. Get lost. Just move along. You're dead. <laughs> Human, let's play. What the? Strong!
Battle's not worthy foes. Bad warriors. Now I have got to to begin your fabulous shopping spree? What have you got? If you act now, you can choose from one of these fabulous prizes. All the arms and ammunition you can get your hands on, plus medical supplies and general goods. It's a bonanza! You sound like a game show host. That's the correct answer. Well done! Ladies and gentlemen, should we tell the lucky contestant what fabulous prize he's won? Uh, sure. Okay. Right this way, please. Let's take a look at your fabulous prize. some milk fruits for seeding, and there'll be caps in your pocket. Off you go, then. Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility, run entirely by robots. There's not even one person here? Can't eat metal men. Just smash them. That's right, darling. We are entirely self-sufficient with no need for human guidance. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making, a testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. One of Robco's senior engineers, but more than a little eccentric. You seem a bit confused, darling. You're far too young to remember anything that happened before the war. It's a long story. Of course, darling. A lady knows when not to pry. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Edward Gray. 
Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. Robot talk almost as much as human. Just smash it! Why did Dr. Gray give you these unusual personalities? Genius is restless, darling. It abhors stagnation. Dr. Gray was tired of the standard Mr. Handy personality. He looked to his favorite television characters for inspiration. And we are the result. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few odd jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. The question, really. Tell me, darling. What do you think of the water around here? The water? Oh, it's ghastly. That's what it is. Simply ghastly. Pressure is down. Radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. I don't mean to impose, darling, but perhaps you could lend us a hand. What do you need me to do? Most of our water comes from the old western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. A brand new car! Wow! Now, if you've already got the latest in sleek, stylish, atomic powered automation, you can also take your winnings in the form of a cash prize. How does 100 caps sound? I'll take the cash prize. Here you go! And if you want to use your winnings to make a few purchases from Robco, we certainly won't complain. <laughs> well, it's been a real pleasure. Thanks for playing! Where I come from, you get orders, you carry them out. Now move it. Recover that tech I sent you for. Here it is. Good. I was hoping you'd bring it back safely. Here, your payment for a successful recovery. I'll always want more tech, so believe me, I'll never run short of missions. When you're ready for more, just say the word. Can't do it right now. Understood. You know where to find me when you're ready. Halen? Our eggheads need a piece of tech. I'll tell you where, you fetch. Think you can handle that? Affirmative. All right. I mark the location on your map. Stay alert.
Little baby scared! 